Good evening. A Somerset MP has compared Taunton to the war-torn city of Aleppo. Ian Little Granger later apologised, not to those in the county town, though, but to those living in the Syrian city. As the MP for Bridgewater made the astonishing comments in the House of Commons. And the attack on Somerset's market town has sparked criticism today from Syrians and from people in Taunton itself. Well, our reporter Ellie Pitt is in Taunton. Ellie, understandably, some very angry people there. Absolutely, Ellie. You can understand that anger when you look here at Taunton Town Centre here. Behind me, it's still busy, still bustling, full of people making their way home from school and work today. Other people have told me that it also belittles the situation over in Syria. Others have moaned to me that this is not surprising. This is exactly what Ian Little Granger wants. This kind of attention, because this is, they say, just another outlandish comment from a controversial MP. <clears throat> Exodus City has just brought out an excellent report looking for 20 years ahead for the security and the, the growth of their city centre. Across the border, my county town Taunton is more like Aleppo than anything else. This is the war-torn city of Aleppo in Syria, bombed continuously for the best part of six years. And this is Taunton High Street today. So it's probably no surprise that Ian Little Granger's comparison between the two has baffled people here in Somerset. That's extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. I've seen, I've seen pictures of Aleppo. There's plenty of empty shops, but it's not Aleppo. It's a bit harsh. <laughs> I wouldn't agree with that at all. Uh, I don't actually come from here, but um, I work here. But uh, no, I think it's quite harsh. How dare he? How dare he? Clearly, he doesn't even live here. How can he compare us? How can he do that? For the founder of From Syria with Love, an aid, relief, and education initiative, it's offensive. People in Aleppo have gone through a lot and suffered a lot. People seeing people being killed in front of their eyes and their houses destroyed. But when the Bridgewater and West Somerset MPs' comments were met with shock, he apologised to the people of Aleppo for comparing it to Taunton. In a letter to the local newspaper, he said, Life must have been bad under ISIS, barrel bombed by Bashir al-Assad and blitzed by the Russians. The last thing they needed was comparison with Somerset's neglected town centre. I think I find it at best a bit distasteful. Um, Aleppo is a city which has gone through a lot. Um, not somewhere where a shop has closed or pavements are bad and roads have potholes, but serious problems. Back in the bustling centre, the mayor is flying the flag for the county town. It's a fabulous place to live. We've got the countryside, we've got a vibrant town centre, we've got world cricket coming this summer. What would your message be to Ian Little Granger? Has he not got anything to worry about in Bridgewater? Although parts of Taunton is wasteland and still waiting to be developed, it's a far cry from the destruction and devastation in Aleppo. Well, as we heard at the beginning of my report there, the MP was also making a comparison between Exeter and Taunton. Exeter is where they've drawn up a 20-year plan for development. But Paul Jones, the editor of the County Somerset Gazette, also told me today, he said, look, our towns and cities in Somerset and right across the West Country are adapting to changes on our high streets at different rates and in different ways. Comments like this from Ian Little Granger, in parts of central Taunton, there is nothing left to steal. Aleppo is being rapidly rebuilt. Taunton just gets worse. Comments like that we've heard today are just unhelpful. Ellie Pitt in Taunton, thank you. Well, let's get some more reaction from our political correspondent, David Wood, in Westminster. David, these are pretty controversial comments, but is Ian Little Granger being deliberately provocative here? Yeah, I think so, John T. And why? Because we are now talking about the issue. He, whether you be the council that looks after Taunton or the government, you know exactly what he thinks is one of Somerset's MPs. When he made the comments, it was in a question and answer session in the House of Commons where a number of MPs were talking about their local areas and trying to secure debates to raise government attention for their local area. His comments certainly stood out in that, so the government is in no doubt that he wants to talk to them about getting extra funding into Somerset and improving Taunton, but also the wider county. Now, uh, Rebecca Powell, the Taunton Dean MP, she's not responded to the comments from 
uh, her neighbouring MP, but she has uh, been in touch this evening, say Taunton is a great town in which to live and work. It's my home. I should know. It was recently voted the third healthiest place to live in the UK by the Royal Society of Public Health. The government has a fund to try and boost high streets. She's encouraging Taunton to apply for that, although points out there are fewer empty shops on average in Taunton than in many other parts of the UK. Whatever you think of being Little Granger, the topic is on the agenda. It is on the agenda, agenda for now. David Wood in Westminster, thank you.